What's up, YouTube? My name is Bob Morrison, and welcome back to Nerdly. Uh, today on Nerdly, I'm going to be um, reviewing this 8-bit Predator that I got in the mystery box, and I just wanted to give a quick heads up that because it's now May and June and stuff, um, uploads can be scarce because I'm working on final projects and stuff for school, so that's why I'm doing a bunch of videos tonight, and you'll start to see them appear over the next few days or so. So today I'm doing, um, this one came in a mystery box. It's 8-Bit Predator, only available at GameStop. Um, so for this, it used, if you get, like, the 8-Bit ones on their own, they're, like, $15, $16 at, like, EB Games. But in the mystery box that I got, it was 17 so it's pretty good. And this was the last one, so they're like, oh, it's the 8-Bit Predator. I was like, oh, cool. So you, in the mystery box, because I don't know if I explained this or not already, but, um, in the mystery box... You get a pop figure, of course. Um, a lanyard pop thing. Um, it has like a little um, image of just this guy on the end. And then you get socks. This year for the um, mystery box boxes, you get Batman socks. And they're actually 8-bit, which is actually pretty cool. So this is what the box looks like. That's 8-bit Predator. It's just only available at GameStop, which is the American version of the games. And then on the back is a thermal version of Predator's face, all in 8-bit, which is pretty nice. And yeah, and oh, and the numbers for Paul figures are actually the mold that they used, according to a Funko Forms user. It's like a blog chat for Funko fans, and apparently that's what it means, but I'm not too sure. So if you actually know what it means, just let me know. Um, but yeah, that's the number. So number 12 would be... Predator's mold for being made, I guess. I don't know. So, anyways, I'm going to get this guy opened up, and let's get started. So, I took him out of the box, and I've only taken him out one or two times, because he looks better in the box. I don't really like the way he looks out on his own, but he still looks like a good figure. So, this is what he looks like. He's just one huge, solid chunk. You can't move his head at all, which is a bit of a disappointment. But that's how all of them are. Oh. Some tape stuff on his dreadlocks. Eh. I don't know what that is. He kind of just looks like glue from the box because it's been in there a while. So that's probably what it is. So that's what he looks like. And on the back, it's like the gold dreadlock beads and stuff. And over here is some little Wolverine claws that um, he used because one of his wrists in the movie, I think it's the one with the Wolverine claw, he'd like open it and it would like give him stuff and he'd like tap on it and stuff because he's like a he's like a hunter well the predators are like hunters so this is what he looks like that's what he looks like unmasked anyways because usually they're in giant body suits that look like something out of fallout if you know what i mean like those guys with the breathing masks and stuff i've never played fallout so if i'm wrong then yeah but i i seen them in the trailer and they look pretty cool they look like an iron man kind of thing but cooler so that's kind of what the predators look like but it's a good movie alien versus Pre uh, not alien versus predator uh the first predators um alien versus predator is actually a pretty good film in my opinion but not the second one the second one was eh. and then the second predators movie is eh. it's like a hit or miss sort of thing but yeah so that's what this guy looks like and so yeah that's it for this video um if you want to check out more videos um subscribe and hit the like button because I was looking at Social Blade today, and it says it'll take me till 2023 to hit, like, 600 subscribers. So I'm, like, eh, trying to push for it uh, just to see how far my channel can grow. And, yeah, so that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.